What's up, guys? We're here today to go over a tech quickie for some of the followers uh, who are having ignition issues. So say if you're inside the car and you already know that, number one, you have 12 volts. Usually your battery's dead. 90% of you people who ask questions, your battery's dead. Check your battery. After that, and you want to make sure and isolate that it's the ignition, say you're turning your key and it's not clicking, it's not doing anything, you now need to identify if it's the ignition because you have exiled the battery. As long as your keys are out of the ignition, because if it's in drive or reverse and you start this, it will put it in drive or reverse, start the car and go. So you want to make sure that your batteries are, or your key is out of the car when you do this, but it will jump start the car. So if this is in the key turned, when you do this, it'll start the car. Um, if it's out of the car, this is what it'll do. Um, what's going on is, is on this side of your battery, you have two different wiring harness connectors. You're going to have the lower one. That's going to be a CCRM power and ground that if you pull it, will pull your power from your CCRM over here. I believe that that is your signal switch power. Um, and then this other one that's already disconnected is going to be your solenoid switch from your starter. It's going to look like this. It's always going to have this hard pinch in the center and uh, what this does is right here is your wire from your starter so it's always identified by that hanger right there you'll see that hanger from the engine cradle to this big power wire and what that is is it comes up to here my battery's turned around because my ground on this side is really good to put a nice big big three ground right there and then as well as having my power on this side is able to make me hit my starter really easy it's the same as your guys's mine's just on this side but anyways what i'm going to do is is now that i've identified that that's the the starter ground power and solenoid it's the same as being underneath the car with your three wires so what we're going to do is hit the starter um, you're able to actually take your solenoid switch once you squeeze on it pull that apart and then don't send power that way like you don't ever want to click that part because it does go up into the ignition so you don't really want to send power up the other side but take the side of the wire that comes from the starter this side and I used a jumper wire but for this I'm going to try to do it even a little easier and we're going to put even just this poker in here and whenever I hit this to that power, it's going to hit the starter. Cool trick, huh? So, next time you're trying to diagnose your starter issues, now you know how to actually hit your starter or figure out your starter without getting underneath the car. I'm glad I could help you out. Mustang V6 tech support.